Are you looking for a resource to discuss all topics air conditioning? Well, you're in the right space. Join the Rawson boys as they discuss the hot topics and the cold hard facts. This is the Air Conditioning Podcast. G'day guys and welcome to the Air Conditioning Podcast where we discuss all things air conditioning, the hot topics and the cold, cold hard facts. facts. Brad. And, uh, cold hard facts. Here we are, round 35. 35? Last one wow. for the year. Yep. As this goes to air, it will be officially Christmas Day in one week. There you go. How's that? One week out. Yeah, one week. As it goes oh, yeah. to air. That's gone quick, hasn't it? It has. And it's going to be a hell of a ride between here and there in terms of I just of can't work. wait to have a holiday. No, well, that's true. It's I can't either, to be frank. But, um, <laughs> yeah, so uh, we've got a cracking guest today, Brad. Yes, Super definitely. excited. And uh, we'll get to him very soon. We won't keep him waiting too long. Uh, but um, how's your week been? Yeah, not too bad. Very busy. Yeah. Very busy, which is good. It's the, it's the go time of year. It's the... It's getting warmer again. Mm. It seems to be going up and down like a yo-yo, doesn't it? It is at the moment. But, hot cold, uh, hot cold. Yeah. But I think closer we get to Christmas, everyone's sort of getting a bit anxious. and yeah, a bit toey. A bit toey. Yeah, I wasn't going to say that. Toey than a Roman Uh, so, guys, just to um, just to give you a, a, a brief update on the on the COVID scene, uh, we haven't done that for a, for a while. But um, as it currently stands, uh, Australia has as, is at twenty eight thousand cases confirmed um, to date, and um, in the in the last twenty four hours, we've had a total of nine cases. So um, things certainly uh, have on the improve, up. aren't they? Yeah. And, um, as restrictions start to ease, and a thing now we can. We borders can are travel. becoming, uh, yeah, yeah, it's getting opened there. again. So we'll yep. start to come out the other side of it, which is uh, which is cool. Yeah. So globally, uh, sixty nine million did I say before? Sixty nine yeah, so million cases. Yeah. So uh, we're certainly doing um, uh, better than a lot out there at the moment. Yeah, but uh, the sooner we can get this friggin' vaccine. Uh, vaccine rolled out, the better. Yep. It's in the UK. It's in Russia. Um, and I think uh, the US on, now are yeah. yep. starting to. So, uh, but anyway, um, should we crack on? We should. Let's get ready to rumble! All right. So, guys, um, we have an extremely special guest today, and Brad and I are super excited. Bit, bit starstruck, you might say. Yeah. We are fans of their podcast. Guys, today uh, we have on the show Gil Cavey from uh, HVAC Uncensored. Gil, welcome to the show, mate. What's up, fellas? Thanks for having me, man. Oh, Thanks for coming on. Yeah, what yeah, a thrill. For sure, I know that we're a little distant. You guys are like over the pond and yep. through the woods and down the valley and around it's... the corner. So I know it's a little bit different. I'm really glad we got to work this out. So I appreciate yeah. you guys for having me on. Oh, yeah. look, and I said to you, Gil, that we're going to save the best to last. And we, we achieved that. So big tick. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, thank you. I, I, I appreciate that. We still have a, still have a lot to do, but uh, yeah. I guess people like hearing my big mouth, apparently. <laughs> yeah, well, I know that we've there's a lot of people in our country here that uh, love to listen to you guys, uh, yourself and Kelly. And uh, um, as I said before, we're big fans of it. And um, so, would, can you take us back to the start? How, how did the HVAC Uncensored come about? Um, really. So, long story short, like it really started where I was just watching YouTube to fill you know, like anybody else does to fill my time watching different things. And I got into the YouTube community, the HVAC YouTube community, and uh, got to know some of those people. Uh, there was one gentleman who, uh, I'll just leave his name out of it, but he, um, he started a podcast and um, I went on as a guest. People really liked me. He said, hey man, would you come on as my co-host? Sure. And um, we did that for like a year. Ratings went good. The guy turned out to be a not so good guy. He made some moral decisions that I didn't agree with and I didn't want to be associated with. So I took some some breaks and then I kind of sat back and was like, man, this is pretty damn fun. Like I, I really like this. And uh, that's how HVAC Uncensored was born. And um, been doing it ever since. Kelly, me and Kelly became friends because I actually interviewed Kelly when I was with the other guy and um i just thought kelly had a wealth of knowledge and we just kind of our personality just kind of meshed because yeah. we're, we're yeah. different like i'm definitely an alpha introvert like i'll talk to anybody um where kelly is more more quiet but yeah. he has 
he's a very, very smart guy. Like he, he's very detail oriented in how he does things. And, um, yeah, it just kind of, kind of took off from there. And, yeah. um, it just kind of grew. It really just yeah. went like that. And you, uh, you, you had the, the uh, HVAC, uh, blood running through your veins through, uh, your dad, wasn't it? He was, a, he was, a HVAC tech. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. My dad was an HVAC tech. So, I mean, I changed my first outdoor unit when I was like 12. Um, <laughs> And then I went on and, uh, you know, did, did work from him. And then it's, it's funny because I didn't realize what he taught me until I was older. Yeah. Um, you know, and I won't go into too long detail on this, but a lot of people that are fans of mine know my story that I had a dark time where I, you know, had done things and then I fell into drug addiction and um, you blink an eye and then it's like, oh my God, what happened? So thank God I was able to wake up. And see that my family was strong enough to pull me out of it. And I was able to see the light and excel. To me, I was like, man, I just wasted time. So there's no time left to waste. And I want to be the best at whatever I'm doing. And that's when I dug into HVAC and I was like, I want to know everything. I want to be better than everybody else around me. Um, and I just excelled. Because if I didn't have four kids, I would probably still be in a truck. Because I like fixing things. I like working on stuff. The hours aren't a big deal. But the fact that I have children... That's when I started going into sales and management and ownership and stuff like that um, because I wanted to free up some time. Sad part is it doesn't always free up time. <laughs> um, yeah, that's right. It just it gives you other headaches, but yeah. um, it, it, it's been a, a fun ride. My mouth is what's helped me, <laughs> to be honest, uh, talking yeah. to people and yeah. uh, the fact that I can talk to anyone. Yeah, yeah that's, that's cool. It. Kelly um, was a little different to yourself. He, he married into the trade, you might say. Yeah, so his his father in law um, did the trade, and um, he uh, that's how he got into it. And then Kelly apparently worked for some some really crappy people, you know, where Kelly was busting his hump and busting his hump, and uh, the he saw these people, you know, buying their boats and their new houses, you know, but then checks don't cash on Friday, and yeah. um, Kelly started to. Uh, I think I think he said his 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 real dad, which I think is no longer around, um, gave him a ten thousand dollar loan, and Kelly started his company, and now Kelly's you know does millions of dollars, and it's funny yeah. people, Kelly's YouTube channel is HVAC millionaire, like oh are you a millionaire? And he's like no, I mean the whole point was to describe you know what I aspire to be. Yeah. Uh, Kelly's another thing where his location kind of restricts him because like I said he he is kind of in BFE. For you people don't know that, um, <laughs> F Egypt, um, you know, uh, he lives in Kansas and it's kind of a rural place. The numbers are small. So yeah. if you got a company there that's doing $10 million a year, that's the big dog on campus. I mean, around yeah. me, you got hundred, two hundred million dollar companies. Yeah. So, um, Kelly's kind of sat right in that, like two, $3 million in revenue, but for his area, it's it's really not bad. You know, yeah. it, it's no down discredit to Kelly because he, Kelly can explain anything to you. Um, like he just put together not to promote his stuff, but it's um, uh, an operations manual and like a seven week course that he's going to uh, be releasing to help people that are starting out go from nothing to 1 million. You know, because we see all these people on Facebook and YouTube that it's like, yeah. You know, oh, I have my own plane and I have a hundred million dollar company and I can yeah. teach you this. Yeah. Well, you know, the sad part is when you're starting out, you don't need what they're teaching yet. Yeah. Yeah, that's wrong. You know what I mean? Like you need yeah. the basics. Yeah. So sorry, that was yeah. kind of a long winded answer. Yeah. yeah. No, straight up. Yeah. So so where um Kelly's from is does it do they have do they have the four seasons? Or are they just like two seasons? You know, they they have a like big downturn in, in, in the seasons or yeah, what's no, there? his weather's actually really similar to ours, being on oh, okay. opposite ends of the country, yep. where um, we have the four seasons. Well, Maryland on, in the East Coast where I am, we used to have four seasons. So our summers are hot and humid. I mean, yep. like we, we get, it, it gets really humid here. We have the Chesapeake Bay and it, it gets humid as all hell. Like yep. some people are like, oh, but it's not the same as Florida. I was like, 100% humidity is 100% humidity. Last time I checked, it doesn't yeah. matter where it's located. <laughs> yeah. um, so we just don't have it for as long. So summers here are good. Winters, like as a kid, it used to be like, you know, you had your snow. Christmas was snowing and you had all that. But winters have kind of went down, which does kind of kill business, you know, mm -hmm. because you don't have that winter season. But um, 
it, we, I wouldn't say we have four seasons. I, I would say we have summer, a little bit of a fall, or a long fall, maybe a little bit of winter, and then a long spring. But yeah. um, it, it's it's still pretty decent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I would miss not extreme. having winter. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's right. Yeah. Like yeah. you guys are warm now, right? Like yeah, yeah it's it's summer here, so yeah. we we I mean we're creeping up now. We're into the forties um, Celsius. Yeah, thirty five to forty degrees Celsius. So what's that in? That's over hundred, isn't it? In yeah. in Fahrenheit. Yeah, oh, I think Jesus so. Christ. Yeah, so uh, well and truly. Yeah, I yeah. mean we're getting in some of our um, our I suppose out back uh, South Australia getting they're getting up to nearly fifty degrees. Oh. So that's that's hot. <laughs> yeah. yeah, damn right it but is. But then, that's... but then we do get to uh, in in we go through the the autumn or the fall, and it's uh, we get get really nice weather. So business just drops off. No one needs air conditioning or heating. Um, and then we get into the the winter. It gets quite cold here. Mm. So yes, yeah, so um, forty degrees. Just checking. Uh, forty degrees is about one hundred and four degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, yeah. Holy yeah. moly! Yeah. So that's... when you're getting up to fifty. You know, yeah. that's, that's hot. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys are, I guess, similar. I'm trying to think of a place in the United States that you would be similar to. So do you guys get like snow in the winter? Like that cold? Like no, we're freezing? Not, we're not that cold. Not, not where we are. Not we're here. in South Australia. Um, but in the Eastern States, they do. Yeah. In uh, Victoria. Yep. Um, and New South Wales. New South yeah. Wales. Yep. yep. Um, so yeah, we, we do get it. It's, it's a big country. <laughs> but we, well, we yeah, probably, true. So yeah. I, I'm just thinking, so you guys are probably similar to like parts of California where, you know, they're normally hot most of the year, but if yeah. they get like 55, 60 degrees Fahrenheit, yes. everybody's like, put on a parka, you know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> you know, yeah, because yeah. It's, it's so cold. Yeah. 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 So it's, um, yeah, we definitely get four seasons. So our, our downtime would be... Um, Sort of uh, April, April, May. April, May would be our quiet time, which is where you're probably where you're at right now. Yeah, in the seasons. That's, yeah, that's crazy. I don't think about. I mean, I know the time difference, yeah. but that's yeah, that's weird. That like when when we're rearing up for the busy time, you guys yeah. are going into slow time. That's, that's right. It's exactly wild. the opposite. Yeah, yeah. It's all, yeah, all the opposite. And same with same with uh, Christmas. Of course, we we we're swimming in swimming pools and wearing you know flip flops and 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 you know yeah. And having um, yeah, drink, drinking beer in the sun, yeah. Uh, and you guys are, are uh, We're all getting cold, getting cold, and skiing and stuff. You're talking about fixing the furnace. We're talking about getting the cooling fixed. <laughs> <laughs> that that is funny. I mean, do you guys? I mean, like, what's the big things over there for you guys? I mean, is it like you know, natural gas, oil, heat pumps? Like, what's the big thing over there? So basically, our biggest market is is reverse cycle air conditioning. Um, so the heat pump mm. side of things, um, and we do have evaporative cooling. Um, so because we've got a we've got a really dry climate, uh, so we have the the swampy up on the roof, um, using the evaporative effect to cool the air, and then uh, places that have got evaporative air conditioning, they generally have like a natural gas heater furnace up in the roof, mm. in in the roof. But you talk about uh, a lot of you guys have the the furnace in the uh, in the um, cellar. Cellar, yeah, is that right? Underfloor. Yeah, so we, yeah, so we have them in the in the basement. So parts of the country, you have a lot of two system households. Like my house has to have two systems: one in the basement, one in the attic. Right. Um, most of them, we have a lot of basements, or you have some that are just in the attic. But yeah, most of them are like that. But what you yeah. just subscri subscribe uh, describe? Can't even talk. Um, with the swamp coolers, that's definitely the West Coast of the United States. So yeah. your weather is going to be similar because they have all the swamp coolers in like yeah. Arizona, California, and stuff out there. We don't have any of those here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you use mainly uh, furnaces for the heating, don't you? Yeah, so there's uh, a lot of you know natural gas, propane. Uh, there's still oil. A lot of people aren't working on oil as much just because it it's – a lot of the older guys or the oil companies that provide the oil, they do most of the servicing. Um, and a lot of the guys that are coming up, they don't get trained on how to work on oil. Kind of like steam, uh, steam boilers. Yeah. Like we have a lot of boilers too. Like, yeah. um, but steam's a whole nother, a whole nother thing. So yeah. some of those you got to be, got to be careful. But we do a lot of heat pumps because in us, 
Maryland on the East Coast is the northernmost state where you can have heat pumps. Like you can't have heat pumps in like Pennsylvania, New York, yeah. um, because because of that region. Yeah. So, like, do you like what is the sear restriction for you guys? So we we don't talk in sear, do we? Um, we have a uh, um, what would you say an efficiency? Um, yeah, um, like what's met um, uh, minimum efficiency minimum performance f- standard? Yeah, it's a standard. Yeah. yeah. So all systems coming into the country have to comply with those standards and they're actually really, really strict, strict yeah, really strict. strict. So all of our systems are pretty much all high efficiency inverter systems, heat pumps. Oh, so nice. That's, that's my all, kind of stuff. Yeah. Mm. And that's what we do. We do every day. That's, that's our norm. Yeah. That that's awesome to hear. So yeah. Australia's got it right then because yeah. here it's the 14 seer and 14 Sears garbage. No homeowner yep. wants that. I mean, they really don't. They think they want the cheapest thing possible until they put it in. You know, I make a living selling high-end inverter equipment. Yep. I have two of the carrier green speed systems in my house. Yeah. Um, yep. You know, it's just, uh, and when people experience what those things can do and the comfort yeah. they can give, yeah, it's crazy. Like friends yeah. think I have gas heat. Yeah. 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 yeah, right. Like, no, that's a heat pump. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Um, it's funny because uh, I, I grew up in working on carrier systems. I did my apprenticeship just installing and, and servicing carrier stuff. And, and some, of the, some of the photos of the systems that I see in your uh, Facebook group, it's like, a, it's like I've travelled back in time. Really? So, yeah. Mm. It's like I was putting those, or well, maybe the electronics and stuff, uh, stuff is a little bit more, is obviously more updated, but, but the actual systems, they look like what the stuff that I was putting in like, 20, 30 years ago. Oh, Jesus. Maybe some of them are. Maybe you guys are getting the good shit and, you know, we're getting all the <laughs> cruddy stuff. <laughs> like, that's not really 14 seer, but those stupid Americans think so. <laughs> um, yeah, well, a lot of our stuff comes from uh, Asia, like um, Japan. I think everybody's Japan. stuff comes from Asia. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just to be right. honest. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, yeah. But that's awesome. Yeah. You guys are doing a lot of inverters, though. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. that's, yeah. I mean, that's, um, that's, I mean, that's, I, I love it. I mean, do you guys have where like um, homeowners and stuff like that get any kind of like rebates and stuff back? <laughs> like, does your energy companies give rebates back for like if they get something really efficient or solar yeah. and stuff like that? I think they're doing that. They do that for definitely for solar, solar. yeah, and for gas, uh, natural gas systems, yeah, uh, furnaces. Uh, they do that. Not so much for um, heat pumps. There was a scheme at one stage, the yeah. residential energy efficiency scheme, I think yeah. that was called, but really don't but that was much a, of that. It was bugger all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But we, well, um, can, yeah, go on. I would say, can you guys even do 80% furnaces? I know in Canada, Canada, it has to be 90 plus or above. They can't even do 80% furnaces. Yeah, I'm not sure what, how, what, what you mean by 80%. Is that? So 80%, what we call 80% means that the furnace has a metal flue pipe. 90 percenters means they condensate and have the pvc flu pipes so that's how we call 80 percent 90 percent well um yeah i think we do we did we have both here uh, but they're okay. going to they're going more towards the pvc i'm not really big into the furnace thing we did we do sell a few of them but not not that many, not many. so uh, but they do have like they call it uh, they have a, an energy rating here mm-hmm. a star rating um, and I think some of the new furnaces are like seven star, yeah. so yeah, they're pretty efficient. Um, nice. And they, I don't know what they go down to. I think it might be four star, something like that. Maybe three or four star. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, it's, it's it, awesome to see how things are done in different in different yeah. places. Because I, I know the United States is not the best. I mean, not that we have a bad system, um, but even for you guys, like technically, I mean, do you guys have like licensing and stuff like that? Is is it as a whole through the country, or is it individual states or uh, provinces? I'm not sure what you guys have there. Yeah, well, we, it's um, through the different states. The licenses do change. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, like for instance, we actually don't have a a license as such for um, to be a refrigeration mechanic. Uh, we have to have a license to use refrigerant, mm. um, but it doesn't actually say oh, it, you're you're a refrigeration mechanic um, or mm. a refrigeration technician. Mm. Um, then there's there's other like I know up in Queensland, uh, the northern part of the country, uh, the the plumbing in the industry is trying to take over the 
the um, refrigeration and air conditioning um, industry. So they've got different licensing up there, and uh, it's it's all different right it's through different. the yeah. the whole country. Um, yeah, ours is yeah. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So, I actually found out recently that I didn't know this, that we have more states that don't require a license than do. Yeah, right. Um, we had yeah. a, a, he was a representative from a school in Texas. It's called the Perfect Technician Academy, which yeah. is one of the few schools that I actually, I, I do um, represent. Endorse. Or, or, endorse. Yeah, endorse. There we go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> had a brain fart. <laughs> um, but, uh, but yeah, when he told me that, I was kind of dumbfounded. I was like, man, that's, that's crazy to, yeah, um, yeah. There's not some like mandated thing because yeah. people don't realize how important our jobs are. Like, you know, exactly, we keep yeah. the world comfortable, exactly right. you know, like, yeah. and you should hold your health self to a higher standard. Yeah, you know, that's, that's right. why you go into a doctor. You don't negotiate with them. Yeah, well, hey exactly. doc, I know I need a new kidney, but <laughs> that is 200,000. Will you take 150? Yeah, yeah. that's right. You know, you know what I mean? Like you don't do that. And no. that's, we need to start thinking of ourselves as the same way. And yeah. Exactly. I think when people do that, they'll realize how important we are to the industries. And, and exactly right. You know, so we'll true. it's not yeah. market perception, isn't it? And, and yeah. talking about, uh, let's go back to your podcast, mate. I'm, I'm just, I'm curious to know your, I mean, we look at our um, downloads on a, on a regular basis and, you know, we're trending in a, in a good direction, I, I suppose. And, um, but nothing in comparison to what you guys are doing. Can you share with our audience, like what sort of, Download you, you guys are tracking it at the moment. Yeah, so uh, right now, uh, well, right now we're probably you know right around the twenty thousand downloads per episode mark. So pretty much, it can be from sixteen thousand is kind of the range upwards in like to the twenty five thousand range. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> but I remember when we first started, and when we got a thousand downloads, and you know we're like yeah. <laughs> High five and, like, and, and it just it, it takes I think it takes time consistency yeah. you know if you're out there every week I mean granted I'm we've missed a couple episodes here lately so I'm not not really one to talk about consistency <laughs> but um uh, I think I think that helps and like I was telling you guys off air when people say like you know what did you do to like make it grow and I'm like I wish I could tell you the answer I, I really don't know um yeah yeah so I think I think if it's if you if you're giving good content um, and people people like to like to listen to it you know yeah um, well, and, on the way home from work or whatever yeah and and the other thing I think is good is we just try to be relatable and talk real mm -hmm. because we're just like everybody else who listens yeah. to us um, you know we're nobody special and me and Kelly always emphasize that we will always talk more about our failures than our successes mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. I don't want to sit on this podcast and say you know. Hey, look at me! Look what I've done. You know, yeah, I'm awesome, yeah. and you suck. But you could be as good as me one day, <laughs> and and I feel like that happens a lot on these social media sites. Yeah. And and no offense to some of these guys, they're they're rock stars, they're killing it. I'm friends with a lot of people, but it turns people off. It does yeah, you know? Yep. People like hearing those relatable people who are just to be yourself. Yeah. I always said when I started podcasting, if I had to change who I was to do a podcast, I wouldn't do it. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. anybody that's ever met me, I'm the same asshole right now that I am when you meet me in person. Yeah. Um, I, I don't, I don't change, and I don't want to do that. I don't want to no. put on some false perception for people. No, yeah. and, and and lipstick <laughs> wouldn't suit you anyway. So, yeah, no, I've tried. I trimmed the beard though. I had the long beard, and I had to, I had to trim that. Yeah, that now, <laughs> that. yeah that's right. Yeah, yeah. and and uh, your your guests. Mate, I mean, we, we're starting to find now that um, people are contacting us now, and that's that's sort of been over the Which last few, cool. few months. So I think they start we start to get found online and stuff. Is that how you find your guests, or do you actively go out and look for them as well? Well, we look for some, and then we have booking agents that work with us. Yeah. Um. And and to be honest, I can hook you up with some of them because it's per it's it's free for you to use. Uh, it's all on the booking agent because they get paid once that person appears on your podcast and the show gets live. Um, okay. But one thing I tell people, um, I I hold the final say on what gets released on my show. So if if I record something and I don't think it's good enough to go on, just yeah. because I record <clears throat> with you doesn't mean you're going on air. Yeah, um, yeah. Granted, right now, we used to have podcasts in the queue so that like if we were recording 
right now, it doesn't mean it would go out Wednesday. Yeah. But because of personal things we've had to do, we've kind of used up all those. So now we are recording, like we record Wednesday nights. So Wednesday yeah. night, we'll go out Monday. Yeah. Um, we're going to change that up eventually so we can start getting ahead. So that way we don't have to put things yeah. out just as like a quality control. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's some people that we reach out to and some people that reach out to us personally. Yeah. Um, one good thing here in the States is like some of the um, the expos, which aren't happening now, you know, because of COVID. I'm going to ask you about those, yeah. Yeah, it's like the AHR is awesome. It was amazing to get there and talk to people and meet people, um, you know, and I know it would be one hell of a travel for you guys. Mm. Uh, they have, for podcasters, they have a podcasting station where you can podcast live from there. They yeah. have your logo up. Like, it's a really awesome time. And they treat you like kings. I mean, it's like a backstage VIP room. You know, you go in there. Like, you're, you're walk. I, I was in Orlando, like, walking around like I was all king shit, you know? Like, I mean, literally, people would be like, oh, my God, that's Gil from HVC Uncensored. I'm like... <laughs> What? <laughs> what? Like, hey, you know, and I, I was by one of like the solder well booth and one of the other guys uh, said that he told these young guys, he was like, you know, inter talking to everybody. And he goes, yeah. And that's Gil from HVAC Uncensored. These kids mouths dropped. And I'm like, <laughs> dude, I am no one special. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm just like you guys, like, you know, I'm off to be your dad, but I I'm, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, nobody's special and then then you come home and i land back in bwi in baltimore and i'm like oh yeah i'm a nobody again yeah. you know, <laughs> you know taxi go fuck yourself <laughs> I'm back home you know? um, but uh it, it, it is it, it is neat you know to be recognized yeah. like yeah, that sure. so it, it, it's it's pretty cool yeah yeah do you do have you done many of those uh that was actually the first one i've done first one? Yeah, um, right. okay yeah so uh, this year was supposed to be, um, which speaking of that, some of us think we might've got COVID while we were there. Oh, really? Because we, we were there in February, like right before COVID like really took off. But I mean, there you got people from China, yeah. Germany, like everywhere coming to the, these things are humongous. Yeah, if you guys right. ever have a chance to go, yeah, definitely go and let me know because I yeah. can hook you up with Nicole from HR who yeah. does all that you know, stuff. And I know she would love to have you guys be on like the, the list of podcasts. It, it's a really, yeah. really good time. Yeah, but, yeah. um, this year was supposed to be in Chicago, which I think they've already canceled. It's, yeah. it's not happening. Um, and then it goes, uh, Vegas and then Atlanta, um, oh. Vegas. I have to do a little talking with the wife to get me to go to Vegas. <laughs> all, all credit cards stay home or, <laughs> or, or she might have to go with me. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, they yeah. they really really are awesome time. I know there's some other ones too. I haven't done my funny my buddy uh, Tersh Blissett, uh, who does the Service Business Mastery podcast. Yeah. Um, he goes to a lot of the different ones, and um, yeah. he says they're they're fun. So I might start trying to do some more. But it's HR is kind of the big one. Yeah. Um, so it, it's just kind of hard to to make it to all of them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah cool. And out of your guests, are there any that have stood out for you? Any guests that have like you thought, geez, that was that was really cool. To be honest, one that is, and a lot of people wouldn't realize, is ones we had, it was Brad and Sarah Casebeer. First of all, they have the best last name ever, Casebeer. Casebeer. <laughs> you know what I mean? Casebeer. But, um, yeah, but, but talking to them, and, and they were actually someone that we didn't know, knew nothing about. We got them through a booking agent, and we literally talked to them, kind of like we did. We talked for a little bit before we huh? press record. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and they own a successful company. And then when they really talk about, like, how they talk about their successes as business owners and then what they've had to deal with as husband and wife. Cause we all know that's not easy. I mean, yeah. you're a family business. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, you work as brothers. Yeah, it can wrong. be stressful sometimes, yeah. but then when you got to go home and see each other, it's not like, Oh, that guy's an asshole. Yeah. You know? and then right, your yeah. dad's like, who? Nobody. <laughs> I was just kidding. Um, you know what I mean? So, so the way they really gave their real raw opinion on that was, was really kind of, kind of cool to hear. But I mean, yeah. um, other than that, we've had so many that it's, um, you know, obviously a one, a big one that the, the viewers love is um, our buddy Victor Rancor, who was out in California, just absolutely murdering it. Um, yeah. I mean, went from being a, a, a Jiffy Lube doing stuff to oil, got into the HVAC industry, and now the guy's just, you know, kind of taken over. Um, so his story yeah. has been amazing. Uh, he always gets a lot of big downloads. Um, 
trying to think. Obviously, Tersh is always a good one too. He's he's yeah. pretty. But to be honest, some of our best episodes are the ones that me and Kelly think are the worst. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the ones where it's that. just yeah. me and him, yeah. and we get done, and we're like, "Dude, that sucked." Like, yeah. I don't know what we're gonna do. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. "Whatever, we'll just put it out." And all of a sudden, I check it the next day, and it's like, "I'm like, holy shit, dude, this thing like, <laughs> okay." Um, yeah, just so just that's, uh, that's, just that's, talking about just talking shit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And and like I said, me and Kelly never have a problem finding something to talk about. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's. You know, just life experiences. You mm. do this long enough, there's things and people can relate to it. Mm. Um, okay. So we've thought about trying to make ours a little bit, uh, like not so long. Like the one we did last night, me and Kelly got to talking and like, I think it was like an hour and 40 minutes. Like we're going to have people wrecking their trucks and shit, falling asleep. <laughs> so uh, we might have yeah. to do a two-parter or something. I'm, I'm not sure. But yeah, um, yeah, yeah. We've tried to stay around the hour mark, and it seemed yeah. to do pretty good. It's it's worked out. We always say like we're gonna do a thirty minute one, and we never, you know. Yeah, yeah. My mouth can't has to talk longer than thirty <laughs> minutes. Yeah. So, um, tell us about your you. So you're doing uh, your Facebook live streams. Yeah. So, yeah. I took the summer off, which business wise was probably a bad decision. But I just I kind of needed. I was getting burnt out. Yeah. Um, and. Uh, so now every Saturday night, um, 9.30, so 9.30 my time, Eastern Standard Time, um, I do a live stream and I go into my YouTube, uh, on my YouTube page, and then I also stream at the same time, so I'm multi-streaming it between Facebook and YouTube. Yeah. Um, getting pretty decent turnouts, you know, it, it's, it, it's slow just getting back out there. Right now, it's just really just bullshitting talking back and forth people come in but eventually i'll get back to doing more of a guided show so it's it's almost going to be similar to a podcast but it's not yeah. um it's just going to be a live show uh talking to people and plus that's good for people that want to ask me questions yeah because yeah. the facebook group has grown so people post questions and i can't always keep up with them and we get yeah. so many emails i even have a, an iphone over here that we have the, it's the uncensored text line that um I can't even get back to the people all the time because there's yeah, just so many, so you know, or, or people, I, I feel bad, but they'll be like, you know, I got this capacitor and it's reading 30.2 <laughs> and it's supposed to be 35. I'm like, dude, I, I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's I, I don't want to help you, but sorry, <laughs> you yeah. know, so I would like, to, I'm going to start making a series of uh, videos, you know, to put out there, especially with the the school that we're going to be affiliated yeah, with. Yeah, um, yeah. I told you guys that, but I won't yeah. put that out in the stratosphere, like too much details yet to yeah, what happens. Yeah. Um, but uh, I'm going to start making, you know, videos like that uh, because a lot of people like the technical videos. They want business help, mm -hmm. yeah. but the, the people using the tools, those videos, you know, the sad part is probably homeowners watching them, but you know, yeah, YouTube yeah, doesn't care true. what you do for a living. No, <laughs> exactly. That's true. Yeah. That's, true. <laughs> that's right. And, and uh, in terms of uh, podcasts, uh, Gil, what, are there any that you guys listen to on a regular basis? Aside from the air conditioning podcast, of course. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, of, of course. And I have actually listened to you guys, man. Oh, yeah. I, I, have, I have recommend you. I'll make sure to give you some shout outs. Um, oh, cool. But um, so obviously I listen to, to, like I said, my buddy Tersh, the Service Business Mastery Podcast. I really think if you are a business owner, um, in any kind of the trades that there's a lot of value in his podcast. Um, the other one is going to be, uh, my good friend, Cristiano, who's the owner of Rhino strategic solutions. Mm -hmm. Um, which if you're an HVAC company and you need work and you need leads, Rhino is it. There is nobody that holds a candle to them. Um, they're the reason that I'm busy in the slow time, you know, running two to three service calls a day. Yeah. I mean, two to three sales calls a day like good leads is because of them but uh chris does the to the point podcast is another one that's that's very very good is that one there i've got the to the point on there yes so, yeah yes yeah. is that rhino yeah. that is rhino no yep chris cristiano is the owner uh yeah, ceo okay, of rhino. Right, yeah right okay. that's what i thought i was a bit confused about yeah. that yeah that one's good yeah. and, and obviously as far as um, that's the only two that I actually listen to. I've gotten really big on like audio books. I've been listening to audio books yeah. and stuff like that. Um, yeah. but any technical, I mean, the best technical podcast, I mean, by far is going to be Brian Orr, you know, at HVAC school podcast. Um, 
he's kind of monopolized that area. He's one of the original HVAC podcasters. Yeah. Um, so technical wise, he really, really does, does a good job. Um, yeah. which, which there's several, several out there. Um, uh, my friend Victor, I think he does the service. I don't know if he's doing it anymore. He was doing the service hero podcast, but I don't know if it was actually like on the audio platforms or just on video. Yeah. Um, and then there's the guy, Jason Walker, who does, um, Oh, damn it. I can't remember. Damn it. I'm sorry, Jason, if you listen to this, um, <laughs> I'll have to look it up. I can't remember, but Jason's a very good at like sales. He has a, he goes out and like helps train people's teams now oh, yeah. um, on teaches them how to get up their average service ticket and stuff like that. And yeah. I can't believe that I can't remember the name of his podcast. I'm having such a brain fart. Um, Come back to it. But, uh, but yeah, there, there's a lot of good ones, but the sad part is even with YouTube channels too. And I tell people this, um, like some of my friends on YouTube, like uh, there's a show, the HVAC Overtime guys. They're every Friday night on YouTube. Yeah. You know, they're, they're friends of mine. Um, my friend uh, Chris, who is – he's almost at 100,000 subscribers now, HVACR Ooh. videos. Wow. Um, yeah, Chris is kind of blew up, man. But uh, those guys do live streams every Monday and Friday, and I can't always make them because I'm busy, you know, doing stuff. Yeah. So a, a lot of times it's like I support my friends who are doing things, but I can't always be there to listen or do it because I mean, and this kind of sounds like kind of being a dick, but it's kind of hard to make content and create content if you're consuming content. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Sure. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's yeah. kind of yeah. hard for me to record a podcast and make a video if I'm watching somebody else's video or listening to somebody else's podcast. So, yeah. um, but I try to squeeze some in. Yeah. yeah. Um, just, uh, getting back to your uh, new partnership um, at Beltway, um, so so how does that work? Are you are you part of the business now, or um, yeah? So yeah, so I partnered up with them. I mean, my position here is the chief operations manager. So my partner Ryan, um, he he's a young guy. I mean, Ryan's only twenty six. He is yeah. he's absolutely brilliant. He's a very very smart guy. Um, he has. The foundation that he's built here has been remarkable. The growth they've had in the five or six years he's been in business is amazing. Um, and I think with us together, with a little bit of guidance, um, you know, a little bit of wisdom that I guess I can be the old head bringing in, uh, this place, the sky is the limit. Um, yeah. we, there's an amazing team here and everybody says that they have an amazing team. Of course, who, who says my team fucking sucks, <laughs> you know? Um, yeah. but we really do really, really do have an amazing team here. Yeah. Like the, some of the installers, I mean, I've been around for a while and these guys kick ass. They knock things out, uh, very versatile service guys that can do commercial residential work yeah. on different things. And then our office staff, we have an office manager, like the company that I came from, the office manager was like, she was awesome. And I yeah. was, when I left there, I was like, man, it's going to be hard if I'm trying to hold everybody to her standards. And then when I came over here and met Amanda, our office manager, I was like, oh shit, well, I'm not even skipping a beat because this yeah. girl's a rock star too. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. So yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's pretty amazing. We have some really big plans, some really aggressive plans we're going to do um, here shortly. And we're going to, we're gonna film it and take everybody along for the ride. So uh, that's cool. That's you know, awesome. show everybody the good and the bad, the real. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, because a lot of people don't realize everybody wants to be a business owner, but the sad part is, is most businesses fail. I mean, that's, that's right. just the truth. Yeah, I, exactly. I've been a part of one. You know, yep, so yeah. yeah. And there's a theme um, that we see that comes up um, a lot, Gil, uh, from those that we've interviewed: Al Levy, Ellen Raw, Tommy Mello, Andy and Angela Smith from Lifestyle Trady. They've all had that common theme of implementing systems, um, you know, turnkey, so turnkey systems into businesses. Do you guys do that sort of stuff as well? Yes. And by the way, you said Tommy Mello. He yeah. is one of the best podcasts. Yeah. Tommy Mello is oh, the yeah. man. Yeah. He, I mean, he, he talks and you, he, his excitement comes through to the point yeah. where you're getting pumped up just listening to Tommy. Yeah, that's He's right. awesome. We actually yeah. want to go out and see Tommy. but um, We'll meet you there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's fine because uh, Tom, Tommy's awesome. Um, if you haven't read his book, Home Service Millionaire, yeah. you should. Yeah. He even narrates definitely. the audio book. Yep. So yeah, that's cool. yeah, down really the road good. like, this is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. um, but yes, yeah. I am huge in processes because, you know, you think of – 
you want to be able to duplicate things and that's how you duplicate processes. And that's how people, you can guarantee success if they stay on to the process. Me and Kelly actually talked about a bunch of this last night. Um, You know, you think about McDonald's, you know, the employee is not the important part because they've broken the system down to where that's right. Anybody can do it. You know, it's yeah. so simple. So yeah. when it comes to running a service call, doing a PM, uh, whatever that is, if you have a certain system that's broke down and that person follows that system every time, like don't cut corners. Yeah. 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 And then there's a way for us to be able to make sure that they follow that system to hold them accountable. It just kind of, it leads to more success. It leads to growth. Cause if you don't have those systems trying to grow, um, is going to be really hard yeah, um, yeah, because sure. the foundation is not strong. You guys know you try to build a house on a weak foundation, it crumbles. It's the same yeah, in business. Yeah, yeah. And um, so, yeah, I, that's why, yes, they are a sponsor of the podcast, but uh, we're not using them here. But I really think Service Titan is the best CRM that is is out there. Yeah. Um, you can be a $1 million, $2 million company to a $100 million company and they – all, all in between as far as what they do, the reporting features they give you um, because, uh, you know, they really let you know what's going on in your business where yeah. I get reports and it's like how much money we made today, how much money we should have made today mm. versus, you know, each individual person. Yeah. Um, it's how many hours, how much money I paid them versus what they brought in. It really breaks it down so you yeah. see the big picture Yeah, because yeah. so many people like – and I don't want to go on a rant. I'm sorry. But, the, the, you know, the biggest thing for these people is pricing. Your pricing has to be right. Yeah. And I keep, we talk to so many people where it's, yeah. I'm so busy. I'm doing all this work. But at the end of the month, I look in the bank account and I made That's not right. Because yeah. mm-hmm. you're yeah. not charging enough, man. So yeah. it's, it's, it's a lot. But yes, I am very huge on systems. I didn't mean to go into left field there. Um, mm-hmm. But yes, I, I'm huge on systems. And it, that's what makes you scalable. Without yeah, yeah. those systems, you, you know, you're doing something that you can never duplicate. Yeah, yeah. So you have you haven't convinced them to go to Service Titan yet? Uh, no. I mean, we're going to it eventually, but it's just I feel like they're so in. They're using House Call Pro. Little <laughs> podcast. I got all my daughter. That's all right. Hey! That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Um, but uh. But yeah, we're so, they're so engulfed into it and we have so many other things that we're trying to grow right now. Yeah. We've just decided that I don't want to put that on because I will say Service Titan, when you first start, it's a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, a lot, it's a lot to learn. Yeah. yeah. It's a lot to get into and you really need to have somebody that that's all they do is yeah. kind of live in that. Yeah. So at some point we're going to have to do it, but right now we're, we're getting by with House Call Pro. Um, and yeah. House Call Pro is a great service. I will not knock House Call Pro. Mm-hmm. Um, I I know, you know, Roland uh, Littenberg from, you know, the CEO of there. I've talked to Roland. He's a great guy, great yeah. program. But in all honesty, the, I, I don't think that they hold a candle to to service tight. And that's just my honest opinion. Mm. Yeah, yeah. We don't have service time here. We've got others. Um, Trader five, of course, friends of the show, Brad. Yes. Um, they, um, they, it's still sort of similar stuff in yeah, terms yeah. of job management, but yeah. Um, there's, a, there's a number of them. There's quite a few of them. Yeah. I think service time now are looking at coming out. Here I think as they well. are, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Um, we, we got an email from them, didn't we? I think so. I we better think. follow that up. Mm. So we haven't done that yet, but yeah. Um, I think they're looking to uh, come into the Australian market. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Well, yeah. They, they come in, though. Trust me, they'll come in and, and take it over because yeah, yeah. they, they are really, they're a very robust program. They're not, it's not cheap. I, I won't yeah. lie. Um, but you get what you pay for. I mean, yeah. you, you really, really do. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, cool. it opens your eyes to whole new things that, things you didn't think you even needed to know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're right. yeah. You know, yeah. Um, I know that's how it was for us. Yeah. Yeah, and we're just about out of time. Uh, yeah, we've held you up um, yeah, but, uh, um, for a fair while. You, you were just coming out of Thanksgiving, about to head into uh, Christmas. Gil, what's that looking like for you? Uh, hopefully it gets a little colder, you know. Um, I got to, you know, plan on robbing a bank here soon because I have four kids. And, you know, <laughs> apparently these PS5s and Xboxes, you got to yeah. make somebody to get one. Yeah. Um, so... Uh, yeah, no, it's, it's just looking to relax, you know, with the family. This is the time of year. Normally I take off, you know, kind of the week of Christmas and, yeah. uh, you know, you're normally doing so much throughout the year. That's kind of the time to remember 
it kind of starts with Thanksgiving, the whole being thankful and just remember why we, why we bust our ass and why we put all the hours that we put in, who yeah, we're doing yeah. it for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I kind of look, look, look back to ending the year. And then I'm also very big on, you know, I set goals for myself every year, whether it's personal goals, business goals, fitness goals, whatever it is, financial goals. Um, and then I look back to see if I met them. And mm -hmm. if I did, awesome. If I didn't, I, you know, give myself a little smack on the wrist. Mm -hmm. And then I kind of set new goals, you know, for the following year. Um, you know, not the, you know, everybody go, you know, you can't go to a gym in January because everybody's at the gym yeah, because yeah, they want to lose 20 pounds. Yeah. Um, you know, but then you go February 1st and the place is a goddamn ghost town. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, but yeah, but, but yeah, that yeah. kind of stuff. I mean, how yeah. about for you guys? You guys are swimming, doing backflips and barbecues on Christmas, <laughs> yeah. huh? Bloody oath we are. That's, that's uh, exactly what's going to happen. Down the beach. Prawns and uh, seafood and, uh, yeah. and swimming, swimming and beers. That's pretty much it for us. Yeah. That's yep. wild. Well, I yeah. know the time frame is goofy, man, but I'll have to set up something to get you guys to come on and do a live stream with me or something. But I mean, so 9.30 my time at night is, is what, like noon, one o'clock in the afternoon for you? Uh, yeah, probably would be around that, I suppose. Well, it's, it's uh, about 10 o'clock here now. It's 10 o'clock here now, I am. Okay, so 6.30, so three hours from now. Yeah, yep. yeah. yeah right. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we have to yeah. we have to work out something, you know. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm sorry. I thought I talked. I was asking you guys questions sometimes because no, I was no. just just curious. Like I felt like I was interviewing you guys. So I didn't <laughs> yeah. throw a monkey wrench uh, into it. Why not? Why not? Well, as we as we come toward the end, sadly, Gil, what we're going to do now is jump into the next round, if you don't mind. If you stick around for that, and it's called keeping it cool in the hot seat. Are you in? I'm in. All right. And, and also, um, just before we do that, yeah. So next time you come on. Uh, you're gonna have to have a chat to Kelly and say you got to be there, man. Get your shit together, bro. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I will make sure that he he is he is there because I yeah, know yeah. that he wanted to be there. Um, the whole hours and scheduling, and when I saw it, I was like, well, I want yeah. this to happen. So whatever I gotta do to make it happen, I, I, I'm glad yeah, yeah. that I was able to do this. Uh, uh, that's cool. I'll try to return the favor. Uh, yeah. We'll try to figure out something to get you guys to come on our show. Yeah, no worries. All right. So I, I've never been a guest and uh, I'd be a little bit nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Power You're good. <laughs> That's All right. right. Well, let's get to the next round. Okay. Keep it cool hot seat. Here we go. Here we go. All, All right, right, guys. So keep it cool in the hot seat. And uh, we have Gil Cavey with us from HVAC Uncensored, Brad. And we're very, very... The legend that he is. The legend that he definitely <laughs> is. And uh, Gil, are you ready to rock and roll? Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, Brad, will you hit that clock? I'm going to hit that button. Go. Okay. Gil, if you were to write an autobiography, what would the title be? Don't do this. <laughs> uh, if you could be a superhero, who would that be? Batman. If a song described your work ethic, what song would it be? I feel like a woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it is. Um, if you were a brand, what would your motto be? Uh, mm, that's a hard one. Uh, I guess uh, shit happens. <laughs> I thought you were going to say that's a hard one. <laughs> yeah, I could have used that too. <laughs> okay, if you could sit with one celebrity or famous person for a chat, who would that be? Ah, uh, that's... That's hard. Um, man, I, I, I don't know because there's, there's so many. But I guess I'll pick like a, a, a local person, you know, like an athlete, like Ray Lewis, the football player or something like that. Yeah. Okay, cool. When you go on vacation, what's the first thing you pack? My Speedo. <laughs> <laughs> if Hollywood made a movie about your life, who would you like to play the lead role? Um, damn, let's see. Uh, Keanu Reeves. Nice. If you had to choose one meal for the rest of your life, what would that be? Well, this is kind of weird. Um, I'm a fried pork chop, fried potato, green beans kind of guy. Meat and potatoes. <laughs> Meat and potatoes. Okay. Um, using a scale of one to ten, rate yourself on your weirdness. <laughs> um, probably a solid seven. <laughs> uh, if, if, if you were the 
uh, President of the United States, what's the first thing you would change? COVID. Good call. Good call. Describe yourself in three words. Uh, loyal, outgoing, um, determined. Tick. Um, if you had a time machine, Gil, where's the first place you would go? Hmm. Um, I'd probably go back to like the medieval times with the knights and stuff just to see what it was all about. Swords. Just, yeah. <laughs> just stabbing people. <laughs> yeah, people probably stink back then, but I'd go yeah. back. <laughs> if you had a time machine... Oh, no, I just said that one. Uh, name one thing everyone looks weird doing. Um, brushing their teeth. True. Yeah, yeah. I'll do the old one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, no, do I need to ask this? Your favourite swear word? Uh, that would be a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, so the K. well pronounced. <laughs> 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 and finally, Gil, your porn star name. Ah, um... Well, we used to have a thing here in the States. They used to always say that it should be your middle name and the street you were born on. So mine would be Norman Barkwood. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, that's I love good. it. That's, yeah. that's appropriate. It makes a lot of sense, too. That's what I like about yeah. it. Yeah. So that would be it. That, if it wasn't HVAC, porn was the next step. I mean, that, that's where I was thinking about going. Uh, well, that's cool, yeah. mate. Oh, well, thank you. But there you got through the, that little segment. That was awesome. And, That's uh, cool, I like that. and and we just uh, Brad and I just want to say how grateful we are to have you on today, mate. And uh, it took a while to get to this point, but we got there. We did it. We saved the best till last. We achieved it. Tick. We've kept you up. We've kept you up way too late. Yeah. So you'd be able to oh, go and have no, a, It's have still experience. good. Thank you guys so much yeah. for letting for having us come on, man. I'm glad to finally meet you guys and yeah, talk yeah. to you. And we'll definitely keep this relationship open and talk talk yeah. more in the future. Please, great. please, and we yeah. we can't wait to have you back on again. Seriously, yeah, yeah. Uh, get Kelly back on as well. So, uh, thanks again, mate. Appreciate it. Awesome. And guys, we just want to say to all of you out there, as we round up for the final episode for the year, Brad, yes. that uh, we are so grateful to have everyone on board listening. Support the support has been outstanding. Would you agree? It's been amazing. Yeah. We thought it was going to be a shit fight. We were going to get laughed out of the park. It was all over after the first episode. But uh, <laughs> they proved us wrong. Yes. And uh, we are Merry eternally Christmas. grateful, guys. So uh, on behalf of both of us, we would just like to wish you all a very, very, very Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Be safe. Be COVID-free. Yes. And uh, have a good holiday. Have a good break. Yeah, for yeah, sure. We'll have a break. Make a shit ton of money because now's the time. Yep. But uh, until next year, Brad. I'm going to throw this one to Gil. He's going to throw us out with his. Until next time, we'll catch you motherfuckers later. <laughs> Peace. 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 <laughs> That's all for this episode of the Air Conditioning Podcast. Be sure to stop by at airconditioningpodcast.com to connect with us, as well as on Facebook and Twitter, and join in the conversation. Until next time, stay tuned, stay positive, and stay cool.